You're listening to Mammal Watching with Charles Foley and John Hall. You can find other episodes at mammalwatching.com slash podcast. So it's too hard to give almost like a highlight, but I do say that each of the three components of our trip were so uniquely different. So that was a highlight. The highlight was that um, one week in one place felt like a month in that place and it, it was completely otherworldly. So uh, the Anetti Massive is one of the most incredible landscapes, but we also got a lot of the cultural aspects of Chad there as well, seeing the nomadic life and the people interacting in, in what is, you know, nature reserves with um, parts Africa running these massive sort of properties. And, and so that was fascinating. And then when we went to the, um, the Wadi Rime and the, the Saharan Conservation Fund area, that was just literally like being on a, a university course for a week on conservation and the principles of conservation. Right. The whole history of the oryx and knowing that they're extinct in the wild. And now we get to see the efforts to bring them back and see them literally in the wild, surviving on their own, you know, four hoofs, <laughs> um, was, was, yeah, is inspiring. And that was that whole middle part of that trip was just, a, you know, inspiration after inspiration. Well, we say that for the Dama Gazelle, a, that changed our lives because it's the most beautiful thing that we've ever never heard about. So we had not any concept of the Dama Gazelle. There are 50 in 77,000 square kilometres, and we saw 12. To be able to see Oryx, Adax, and Dama Gazelle in any given day was incredible. And then I say that Zakuma is like safari on steroids. It was just from aardvark to um, leopard to serval. We just could not get enough, whether you're a bird nerd or a mammal watcher. Um, it was awe-inspiring. Yeah, we, we set up in a, a pretty good spot, but you know, we all had our beers. This is one of those beautiful moments of Zen where we've got beautiful water in front of us. Um, and we see a few birds come in and then a few more and then a score and then they come in in groups and then suddenly we see that stream, that river of qualia come in. And as they come in, the noise just increases and increases. And suddenly it's like a it's like a, the roar of the ocean and it's and it's coalescing with the murmuration of the, the qualia. So it's it's it is a thrill, like it's it's the true sense of the word awesome. You you are it's an experience. You have to experience. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the best things I've ever done in my life, for sure. As a bird nerd, there's nothing better I could I, I can imagine. Either. If you'd like to listen to the full episode, then visit mammalwatching.com slash podcast.